Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Today we're gonna build something that's Lego. Well, it's Lego. It's Lego, but it's not Lego as we know it. Today I found this set in the thrift shop. And look at these weird pieces and weird dolls. This is a Belleville set. This is actually, uh, I looked it up. So it's it's Belleville brand, which is what they, ugh, look at that sink. That sink is, sorry, okay. Belleville brand was what they had before Lego Friends. So this set was actually created in 2008 and Lego Friends didn't have until 2012. So there are pieces in here that I have never seen, including some fabric pieces. Check that out. And um, the books, all the instructions are here, which is awesome. There are actually... Okay, so the, the instructions are exactly how we used to sing them, but there are one, two, three, four, five skinny little instruction books and some massive plates that, oh, whoa, that's, that's sun bleached as well, that's sun stained. Uh, okay, all right, so this is an old set. So we're going to build it, it's going to be an adventure, but look at this teddy, is this? Whoa, okay, that's so freaky, it's kind of cute. We've got some, uh, like a pillow there maybe these sink pieces I've never ever seen before gold plates hello that's cool and the stickers on here they don't look they, yeah they look pretty worse for wear so but the baby oh okay the baby <laughs> okay all right so <laughs> before I get started on the baby so before Lego friends when the mini when there were mini dolls the girl Lego so Lego that was designed to be attractive for girl builders had these doll house sized mannequins they articulated the legs and the ankles so much more articulated than the mini dolls which is very cool but she is like this is the mum Ooh, her neck's articulated too so like a proper doll's house doll which is good but not really very useful with other lego stuff so kind of a standalone theme and she's got a dress which is stood up quite nicely as a dress or as a skirt the instructions say this is a skirt <laughs> I think fashion has, uh, well she could wear it as a dress but her top's already kind of painted on and mmm that's lovely her hair is awful <laughs> that's awful and you can't take it off so you can't change her hair around but she can hold this slightly scary looking baby with her curved arms so that's really really good design I like that so we've got the mum we've got the baby and we've got a who, or assume this is the dad so we've got got a nuclear type family and I think I think fashion wise he's stood up a little bit better the test of time because the colors on his vest and his black pants are pretty <laughs> they're still pretty good he's got a pair of jeans so is there a front or a back to these I think we just shove them on whichever way and see what happens okay all right, so <laughs> he looks kind of lumpy with the jeans on. <laughs> I'm thinking he might look better without them. <laughs> oh gosh, oh my goodness. Okay, right, okay. But I do like his vest, so <laughs> I'm looking for positives here. And because they're so articulated, look, he can give his wife a hug and she can hold the baby. And look at that perfect family snapshot. So let's clear all these pieces off to the side. Let's do that. Let's, let's just cut to that. And before we build, look at the size difference between the mini dolls and these Belleville dolls house dolls. They're like twice the size. I think they're exactly twice the size. Thank you, Mia. That was excellent. Excellent demonstration there. Let's move everybody out of the way. Off you go, Mia. <laughs> you really look out of place here. And let's build their, oh, their doll's house. The sticker on this is well and truly disintegrated, but this sink piece is pretty cool. I can't, it's like drawers, but this is a sink piece. This is not the color stained or the sun stained one that we saw before when we were opening up the packet. This one actually looks pretty good. So these sink pieces I've never seen before because I don't have any other Belleville sets. And this door also, I've never seen this glass door. It's all in pretty good shape. That looks pretty good, apart from the sun staining. And this, this like cabinety kind of thing goes over next to here. And this massive lattice piece, this is a quick way of putting up walls and letting the light through. So that's very clever. I wonder what piece of furniture this is. Oh, they use that nice piece back then to that like scrolly one that I like so much. So that's, I don't know what that is. That's over here. And there's this big curved latticey piece or kind of, no, what do you, that's not curved. What do you call it? Like 90 degree angled <laughs> lattice piece. 
All right, I am having to find the right pieces with the stickers on them. That sticker actually looks okay. There's a bit of garden on there. Let's see what this big block of pink is. That one's got a... Oh, that sticker. Oh, that's... Oh, there's hair under that. Oh, it's crispy. Oh, that's... that's <laughs> Okay, so we got number four, put kind of dodgily on the other side of that pink window frames. Nice! Oh, I can have so many plans for them. Oh, they're so pretty! And this is a big portrait. The sticker's kind of, well, painting. Sticker's kind of going, kind of uh, flaking off there too, but it still looks alright. This is a piece also that I don't know what else... I, I, what else you would use this for, actually. I, I could probably use it for all sorts of things, but it's like a bay window piece. Uh, and the and the glass is already in it, so it's only one one piece. Some of these don't even look like Lego, but they are. They are actually Lego. They're just things that don't go in other Lego sets, if that makes sense. Okay, so we've we've actually quite quickly constructed a room with quite big furniture compared to what I'm used to. And these ones, which we normally use as windows, are oh these portraits on here. They look like they were family photos. They have well and truly disintegrated. This is a big piece of plating and that's the wrong bit. So let's get, there we go. That one's even bigger than the other one. That goes up here. So we're already moving up onto the second floor. And I still, I'm not quite certain what's going on. So more blue, blue down here. These are such skinny little base plates. Skinny and rounded over on the ends. Oh, these dolls actually do stick down onto the Lego. That's cool. Though it's a bit hard because they are really articulated. Mm -hmm. Okay, some more yucky stickers with some grass. Ooh, with some grass on them. Now that's stuck to my fingers. Uh, so we're lining here which is going to be the outside of the building that we're seeing and we're building on the inside. A whole heap of white. So this might be a bathroom. Maybe? Might be a bathroom? I think it might be the bathroom. And more of these, but I've put this on the wrong spot. We good. Okay. Yes, definitely a bathroom. Alright, so we've got some big blue pillory pieces. Another big panel with a decaying sticker. But so far it's actually looking quite good. So 11 years old this set is. Though it's Lego lasts really, really well. The stickers don't though. Here's that yucky sink. So obviously this has been exposed to the sun, like partially, like sun coming in through a window where it's been displayed. So it's a bit sun stained, a bit color stained. But there's only a few of the pieces. This big base plate is though. I've missed a piece down here that, <laughs> that wasn't actually tall enough. All right. Okay, so second story is looking okay. That base plate is such a different color to the other one now, that pink one. But it's a bathroom. It's a bath with a toilet. <laughs> Mum's currently sitting on the toilet. Doesn't really look like a toilet yet. But we're working up here on the second level. Nice big lattice pieces again, like downstairs. They really make those walls go up quickly. And they're, they're a good replacement, I suppose, for windows. But design wise, this is so much, it's like building a doll's house. It really is like building a classic doll's house, just made out of Lego. All right, so we're up here. Oh, see these sparkly bricks? We only just used these. I've only just seen these in the gingerbread house. I've never used these sparkly bricks before that. So I'm wondering whether they only came in the Belleville sets because I've certainly never seen them in the Friends or the Disney Princess or the Elves sets yet. So it's really cool to be seeing them again in 2019. They actually look really good still. I like they're brand new. They look great. Okay, on here we've got a sticker which is like a growth chart. There's not much of that left. And a butterfly on the outside. Uh, I'm wondering what I'm going to do with this after I finish building it because those stickers are pretty yuck. Now, so 2008, that's when this was actually built. I like the fact that this little roof piece here has got the commemorative year on it. <laughs> that's cute, because down the bottom you've actually got the number, the house number, number four. All right, down back in the kitchen, we are just lining this with studs. Oh, it's like a muffin tray. I'm sure there's supposed to be a fourth one here somewhere, but I can't find it. So that goes in here on top of there. We've got the hot plates and we've got some hinges down here. Everything feels like it's been supersized <laughs> because I'm used to building in mini dolls, mini doll size. And this here is, oh, oh, that sticker still looks all right. This is the oven door. So, oh, 
that doesn't really fit there with the oven door. That's really cool though, except the oven door doesn't shut properly with that tray in there. I don't know whether I've done something wrong there or whether that's a design flaw. I'll have to look at the instructions again later. But let's keep building. Let's see what else we get to add into this. So, oh, nice modern coffee machine with a cup. And I just need to make it a bit taller because I missed out a brick there. Just putting the lever in the cup to stop it from falling off. So over here on the mantelpiece, we have a bowl that I have never seen before with, with orange and white. It's kind of like fiery and it's a fruit bowl. Right, okay, so this fruit bowl is cool. I have plans for this fruit bowl. Never seen it before, very excited. And this is, oh, the fire. So the fire has to go in here, or oh, in here in the fireplace. Okay, it's looking good. Let's see what we get to build next. This must be a piece of furniture, because we've got, <laughs> okay. So we got these pink flowery pieces as the legs for, couch with a sparkly back and some of these rounded over pieces. Look at the size of the mini doll on there. It's designed for these dolls. <laughs> it just kind of looks unfinished though. And those flowers on the bottom are hilarious. <laughs> so pretty. They're so pretty. But the mum can sit there very comfortably with the baby in front of the fireplace. This is another piece I've never seen before in the translucent blue. That's awesome. I would love a few more of those. And this is obviously a big table, got sparkly bottom, <laughs> bottoms of the feet of this. So it's the dining table and pink stool bottoms with a pink, a pink chair top. Once again, pieces I have never seen before. I haven't seen that stool bottom in pink and I've never seen that chair top before. Just trying to think how I can use these in other builds as well. But they all, oh, can we snug mum in there? Yeah, we can. So the dining table is ready. Let's see what, oh, the bathroom. Okay, so we're heading back to the bathroom. This is supposed to be a green stud on the top here, but I'm missing that green stud. So I'm just going to put a spare blue one up as the little, the little flush button for the toilet. Because this is the toilet. It has got a green rimmed seat and... Over here is just some sort of random bottle in the lounge, in the sitting area. And we've got a hot and cold section for the bathtub or the shower. Brush inside the drawer and here's the lid for the toilet. Okay. Alright, so down here next to the bath, it must be a bath, there's no tap. And this, look at oh, that's been so sun bleached. It's an entirely different colour on the outside to the inside. And back here on the sink, we've got one of those lovely gold taps. And there's a potty for the baby. This looks like brand new. The sticker on that looks fantastic. <laughs> the baby on the other hand, still slightly creeping me out. She's cute. I'm sure she's cute. <laughs> I'm just assuming she's a she because she's in pink. Oh, and she's got a bow in her hair. So I think we can kind of stereotype there. And she's got a pink potty. So we're doing a lot of stereotyping with this set. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back over on the kitchen table, there are a couple of candlesticks here. And on this little gold platform is a gold plate with a pink jelly, which is actually a chef's hat. But it works as a jelly at this particular ratio, with these doll's house size. And more gold plates, loving all these gold plates. And it looks like they're having a meal of croissants and sausages. Mmm, -mm, delicious. Okay, another piece of furniture with double arches on it. Is this like a side table or... Oh no, okay, so we got all these little doubled studs which were already doubled in the packet, so I have not bothered to undouble them because single studs are annoying. <laughs> I wasn't going to do that. Just use them as they are. It looks like maybe a range or like a range hood or a... a oh! That's like the, that's like the, um, what do you call those things used in a fryer? A spatula. <laughs> those things used in a frying pan. It's a shovel, but because they're so big, it's actually the spatula. And this does not work anymore. So let me find one that does work. There we go. So the set included a light brick, which is long, long died. But lucky I have a spare one from a different set. And it makes those coals light up so beautifully. So it's just a barbecue that's randomly sitting outside. Back in the kitchen, we've got a water jug. Nice. Ooh, once again, this is not a piece you would generally see in Lego sets today. What else do we get to add to the kitchen that is 
Belleville Unique. We've got a wine glass or a goblet, which we have seen before, which is awesome. I like them. I like to have more of them. In here, we've got the spare plate because we've got four gold plates included in here. Clock up above the sink. And wow, there's a saucepan. <laughs> a Lego massive doll's house saucepan. Okay, we're using a ladder and a little yellow uppy spoke thing here. That looks strange oh this is the baby high chair this is very clever design and there's actually a massive that's massive look at how big that is next to Mia like if we put Mia in charge looking after the baby that is half the size of Mia that bottle is huge actually it's almost as big as the baby itself now the baby's supposed to have a bib and some spoons, I think, which were on a little, they're, they're lost. They're, they did not come included in this second hand set, but so far we're doing quite well. Currently we've got something with big white Lego heads as the feet on it. This is a bed. This is like the giant's bed. It feels like I'm building stuff for giant Lego people. And this is where the bedspread goes. Well, it fits very neatly. It's a lovely design and this is where the pillow goes as well <laughs> look how <laughs> it looks like yeah it looks like Mia has climbed the beanstalk to get into a giant Lego world wow okay so this using a little fence piece on one side <laughs> and a panel on the other side is actually a baby's crib so this is for our giant Slightly freaky cute baby. She fits beautifully in here. Looks terribly uncomfortable. And this here with his crumbling off sticker, I think is the bedside table. I've put the wrong tops on the candles. So we need to swap them over with the orange ones. All right, so yes, bedside table, got a lamp and a little bucket to hold things. This is where the teddy bear is supposed to hang out in here with the baby. <laughs> that's actually, that's actually really very cute. So these go, let's put the big, the big bed goes up here and the baby's room is this little one over here. This is really cute. Well, actually the instructions say that the bear should be able to stick. I don't know how the bear actually sticks on the base plate. I cannot make that bear stick. I just put it back in the crib, keep it safe there. Okay, back into the bedroom. There are a couple of random things just on the bedside table. That sticker there has seen better days, but over on the other bedside, Here's another bedside table with oh, in orange. I don't know that I have these cabinet pieces in orange. And there's a lamp up there with a silver stick. Once again, pieces that you just I just don't see very often. And this book here, this style book, it's more like a magazine. So it's got art style. It's all pink, and it's <laughs> the stickers are coming off. Up in the tippity top, let's see what we're going to have up here in what's kind of like the attic space. This is a, oh, I was going to say it was a table, but it would be a table if it was like for a mini doll size. It's a chair. It's a chair. And this over here is a table with the other goblet and a massive red teapot. I love that teapot. And a stereo. So this is like a little terrace garden top up here, like a, a little patio. Well, this is actually very cute. Very cute. Even though some of the stickers are starting to die, it's actually a really cute little doll's house. Got the, a token garden out the side here. And this one needs some flowers. And there's another bunch of flowers. And they are supposed to go... Just drop them. They go in the little bucket in the baby's room. That's so cheerful. And we'll put the potty up here too because that's where the baby is. So you can move that around wherever you like. And we can set this up because the high chair isn't fixed to the ground. We can set it up at the table. And that's really actually very cute. Random watering can though. Really big. So what do you think? This is, it has proven to be Lego. It was Lego. I knew that when we started because it, it's got the logo emblazoned over <laughs> everything but it's so different to the lego friends theme and the lego with mini dolls that we see now it's an entirely different scale it's like a doll's house scale let me know in the comments what you think whether this is a theme that you would have enjoyed building and playing with or whether it's something you go nah lego now is so much better than it was <laughs> when this was around let me know i'm so interested to hear what you think make sure you subscribe and you know do all those things and i'll see you with a new video very very soon bye